Today, I'll show you how to create custom cutting settings in Cricut Design Space for PC or Mac. Hi everyone, welcome to Awesome SVGs, I'm Omar, and today I am bringing you a new tutorial. We are diving into the world of custom cutting settings. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting, Custom settings can be a game changer for your Cricut projects. They allow us to tailor our Cricut machine to the specific materials or projects we're working on. No more one size fits all. They are very useful when creating or cutting special projects like cutting intricate designs, making stickers, cutting specialty cardstock, or even fine tuning an already existing setting to fit your needs. Navigating Design Space. To do this, first you need to have Design Space installed and an actual machine connected to your computer. Let's dive into Design Space. If you're not already there, open it up. It's super user friendly, so you'll be right at home. Here you will see your dashboard. To find custom settings, go to the upper right corner and click the arrow next to your username. Select Settings. Then go to the Machines tab and right next where it says Custom Material Settings, click on the green Start button. At this point, you will need to have your machine connected to your computer and switched on. All the machines connected will be displayed here. Select the one you want to create the custom setting for. Now all of the default and a previous custom materials created will be shown as a list here. If you need to select a different machine, click on Switch Machine. Cutting Setting Parameters Each material created has four parameters that you can set. The material name, the cutting pressure, which refers to the force your machine applies to cut, this value can go from 70 to 350 for the fine and the deep point blades and from 0 to 4000 for the rotary blade. Next is the multi-cut, which means how many times the machine blade cuts the design. And this can be set to off, meaning that it'll cut only once. And you can set it up to 9 times for really thick and hard materials. Finally, the blade type. And this can be the fine point blade, which is the blade that usually comes with your machines, the deep point blade that requires a different blade and a different housing, and a rotary blade, only available for Cricut Maker machines that come with an adaptive tool system. Finally, you will see the save and cancel buttons for the default factory materials that come loaded in Design Space for your specific machine. And you can only modify these materials, but not delete them. Please note that the Save button will only become active if you modify any of the parameters of that setting. Now only for custom created materials, the Delete button or command is available. Now we're going to edit an already existing material. If you have not created a new material yet and want to adjust one of the existing ones, Click on the green Edit Word next to the material. Adjust Pressure, Number of Passes, and or Blade Type and click on Save. Please note that not all options might be available as these come with a few different constraints depending on the intention of the setting. That was great. Now to the fun part. Let's create your very own custom setting. First, find a setting that matches closed the type of material you intend to cut. Check those parameters and keep them memorized or written down. Scroll down to the end of the list by using either the mouse wheel or by clicking and dragging the scroll bar handle on the right side of the window or simply by pressing the end button on your keyboard. There you will see a uh, green Add a New Material button. Click on it. You'll be prompted to add the name of your new material. Let's name ours AA Tutorial Material. 
I named it AA so it'll be displayed first on the list in the next step. But you can add any name that you want. Just make sure to give it a clear and memorable name. It'll make life easier for your future projects. When you have done so, click on save to go to the next step. Now this is where the magic happens. Adjust the cut pressure, passes and type a blade to suit your project, entering the values you memorized or wrote down. Once you have fine tuned your settings, click on save. Now to finish the process, go again to the end of the list by clicking the uh, scroll bar to the right side of the window or by hitting end on your keyboard and click on the button down at the end. I know it looks like nothing's happened, but your setting is waiting for you somewhere and I'll show you how to use it next. Great. Now it's time to apply your custom setting to a project. Create a new project, click on make it, and you'll be taken to the preview screen. Click on continue. And here select the machine you created the setting for. Your list of materials available might look a little different depending on your bookmarked or previously used settings. Your custom created materials will have a gray color label at the top. To see all available options, click on browse all materials. Here, a materials window will pop. You can filter by all materials, bookmarked, compatible, and you can also filter by category or do a search using the text box, entering one or more words and clicking on the loop to the right. In the category filter, you'll find my materials. This is very useful to find your custom settings. You will see that all materials have a flag to the right and some of them have a Cricut brand logo. The logo means the material exists in the Cricut materials portfolio and can be bought in the market. These have always worked beautifully for me without the need to adjust the setting to cut them. Now for the flag, it turns green when you bookmark a setting and it is clear when it is not in the favorites category. To bookmark a setting, just click on the flag and then you can click outside the materials pop-up window. You should see the selected materials in the bookmarked tab. Please know that you can choose a limited number of materials for this tab. In my case, it's nine. If you want to add a new material after that, you will get an error message. If you do get that error, you will need to delete one of the previously created bookmarks before selecting a new one. Now let's go find our newly created material. In the search box, type AA and hit enter. Your material should appear here. Click on it to select it or bookmark it to add it to that list. Then click on done and that's it. You are ready to start cutting your project. Of course, things might not always go perfectly. If you run into issues like overcutting or undercutting, don't worry, I've got the solution. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a trial and error type of technique. Always try your new setting on a scrap piece of material first to avoid wasting. I like to place a star on my canvas, make it one inch wide, and cut it using my setting. Depending on the result, my go-to formula for this is. If the material is mostly cut, but there's only a few places here and there that need more pressure, add 20 more points to the cutting pressure of the setting. That is enough most of the time. Otherwise, add pressure in 20 point increments each time and test the material again. If the system does not allow you to add more pressure, reduce the pressure by 30% and do a two pass cut. If your material is only cut all the way through in just a few places, increase the pressure by 20 to 25%. If the system doesn't allow you to do that, lower the pressure by 30% and do a two pass cut. 
Now, if the blade only scratched the surface of the material and did not cut all the way through at all, double the pressure. If the system doesn't allow you to do that, Keep the pressure and turn multi-cut from off to two times to do a two-pass cut. On the contrary, if the blade is cutting the material and also making indentations on your mat, lower the pressure by 10% and test again. If you have unfortunately cut so deep that your mat ends up being cut, reduce the pressure by 60%. To avoid this from happening, Make sure you always find a setting in the default material that closely describes what you intend to cut and use those settings to start off with. Please keep in mind that in order for the machine to perform the changes in pressure, you have to modify the setting, click on save, and then click on done. After that, deselect the setting by selecting another one and reselect the modified setting. It is a glitch that Design Space version 8.3.52 has. Now, how to edit your newly created setting, you ask? From this project settings window, just go to Browse All Materials, then click on Materials Settings on the lower left corner, and you'll be taken to the Materials Settings window we worked on before. Here, find your setting. It is important to remember the name of your setting and click on the Edit button to the right and adjust the parameters like I showed you before. Once you're finished, go to the end of the list and click on Done. There are times when multiple custom settings can be a game changer. First, intricate cuts. I will be uploading a special tutorial for this since it is a multi-factor related topic, but this video will come in handy for that. Second, if you cut the same brand and type of material all the time, create a setting with that brand name and the type of material. Add the weight if it's paper or cardstock, and if you're cutting those, try to summarize but be thorough to avoid confusion later. I cut mostly Nina paper and make many stickers, so I have special settings for those. My rule to name the settings is First, the material type, whether it is cardstock, chipboard, sticker paper, etc. Next, the brand, if there's a specific one, otherwise I name it generic. Next, the weight or a distinctive characteristic of that material. And finally, any special ability of the setting, for example, for intricate cuts, or if you're making kiss cut stickers, for example. Now, I have covered a lot today. Custom settings can elevate your Cricut projects to new heights. They are a real game changer, so start creating your new ones. Before I go, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see the fantastic projects that you create with your custom settings. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for next videos and don't forget to follow Awesome SVGs on social media and visit the website for more creative ideas. I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.